ओके सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आवर टॉपिक इज द एस्टिग्मेटिज्म सो व्हाट इज एस्टिग्मेटिज्म सो इट इज द एबनॉर्मलिटी सीन इन द मेरिडियंस और कर्वेचर्स ऑफ द I. Now let's understand. So you can compare a normal soccer ball to a normal eye. <coughs> normal eye, and a rugby ball to a astigmatism. Tism. Okay. Now in a normal eye, let's take this is a sphere, and it has the horizontal meridian. these are the horizontal meridian and these are the vertical meridian so both are horizontal and vertical meridians both are same same curvature okay but in case of astig astigmatism let's draw a rugby ball so then draw this is the horizontal meridian these are the horizontal meridian and these are the vertical meridian so you can see this these are the horizontal meridian so these are more curved so or you can see the horizontal meridian is steep and the vertical meridian are flat or less steep okay flat so this is the basic difference of a normal eye and astigmatism okay so now learn another uh, basic concept then we'll discuss the astigmatism further in details so let's take this is a hemisphere okay your hand take your hand and make like this and take this is a hemisphere and this is your eye and you are seeing Okay, so you are seeing from the back of the hemisphere. So now let's take. So you are seeing the back of the back from the hemisphere, and these are the vertical meridian, and these are the horizontal meridian. Okay, so <coughs> now let's see in this picture. So can you can you understand? how the vertical meridians will cause the formation of the of a horizontal focal line and how the horizontal meridian will cause formation of a vertical focal line okay so next come to another page and here is a stigmatism i this is the vertical meridian and this is the horizontal meridian so horizontal meridian will cause formation of focal point here and vertical meridian will cause sorry there is no more space so i have to draw again okay so this is horizontal meridian forming a focus point here and the vertical meridian will form a focus point here okay so now <coughs> let's take more horizontal lights will be form in more focus point like this like this and like this so you can see formation of a vertical focal line here <coughs> so horizontal meridians will cause formation of a vertical <coughs> focal line now make your hand and uh, see how it is forming in 3d you can visualize that thing okay so these are the these are the horizontal meridian okay so the focus point will be like this 
like this like this like this and you can see this is forming a vertical focal line next how vertical meridian will cause a horizontal focal line so let's it will cause formation of mole focal points and let's join them join and it will cause a horizontal focal line okay so this concept is very important now let's discuss astigmatism in details okay so now come to in details astigmatism so astigmatism okay so in this condition vertical and horizontal horizontal curve or the meridian are not same as we see in the uh, or you can compare as a rugby ball <coughs> now the power will also not same because of different curvature so d is not same now we know that d proportional to 1 by f so focal points and or focal lines will not be same now let's draw a picture and understand okay so this is the horizontal meridian this is the vertical meridian here you can see this is the focal point formed by the horizontal meridian and this is formed by the vertical meridian this is a this is let's take e okay now here two point will be there three point first is the midpoint and before midpoint after midpoint this uh, let's name it this is d this is b sorry mid is let's take it this is d this is c this is b now let's write down what is a b c d now a is vertical focal line okay because <coughs> as we told you earlier in this concept that here it is formation of the vertical focal line horizontal meridian forming the vertical focal line so here it is here in this case this will be formation of the vertical focal line and b is b and d b and d is intermediary points okay and e here i told you earlier formation of the horizontal focal line so you can <coughs> see in this concept you can you will be able to understand now here formation of the horizontal like this the horizontal focal line so it is horizontal focal line and a to e distance is called as focal interval of storm okay and uh, see the midpoint of storm call is midpoint of focal interval of storm okay now at point e if we put a clock to the patient's eye okay then 
let's take this is the clock this is 12 6 and this is 3 this is 9 so at point a this is <coughs> this is 12 and 6 will be clear but 3 and 9 out of focus focus okay now I draw 12 6 9 3 at point E at point E to 3 and 9 will be clear 12 and 6 <coughs> will be out of focus and at point C here the midpoint all the meridians seen clearly that is 12 6 9 3 all those things will be same blurry okay so this is the um, astigmatism now come to types of astigmatism okay so now types of astigmatism so mainly they are regular and irregular astigmatism regular is only two focal lines will be formed that is because of two curvature only two different curvature but irregular is more than two focal line will be formed because of greater than two curvature now regular astigmatism further uh, are of different types now let's see first regular let's write regular so first one is the simple astigmatism in simple astigmatism first one uh, there are two types simple myopic and simple hypermetrophic in simple myopic astigmatism you can see here it is what is myopic that is v4 okay now we can guess what will happen so f1 and f2 if one focus will be on the retina and another one is in front of the retina so on the retina let's take f1 is on the retina f2 is in front or before the retina so one will be like on the retina another one will be before the retina so this is f1 and this is f2 next is simple hypermetropic so simple hypermetropic hyper metro peak so hyper metro peak that is after you can see this this is after one focus will be behind the retina so on the retina and f2 will be behind the retina so now let's take this is so f2 will be behind the retina okay so this is the simple next is the compound here two types compound myopic and compound hypermetrophic so in this condition so first one is the compound myopic so in this condition f1 and f2 both in front of the retina so this is the retina and both will be in front okay this this is f1 this is f2 
so both will be in front of the retina next is compound hypermetropic astigmatism so both will be behind the retina so this is the retina and both will be this and this okay. this is f1 f2 both will be behind the retina last one is the number three is mixed astigmatism here one focal length will be in front and another will be behind so another is behind and another one is the in front this is f1 this is f2 okay so now come to the other types so other types in this we have with the rule against the rule and oblique so first is with the rule astigmatism so this is a rugby ball kept on the surface so you can see <coughs> the vertical meridian vertical meridian is this is the vertical meridian you can see this is the steep and the horizontal horizontal meridian horizontal meridian is flat next is against the rule against the rule now the rugby ball is kept like this okay now here the vertical meridian let's draw this is the this is the vertical meridian is steep and the horizontal meridian is flat okay last one is the oblique in this it it can be like this and can be like this and the angle is here it's 45 degree and this is 135 degree it is 45 degree 90 degree 135 degree so 45 degree in this the 45 degree axis is the steep axis and in this 135 degree axis is the steep axis so that's it the whole lecture about astigmatism so guys if you like this video then please do not forget to hit the like button and please do subscribe my channel Thank you guys.